And so we have some XT4 rumors. Uh, it's going to be a little bit heavier and thicker, uh, so five to six ounces heavier to be specific. And um, it's going to be a little bit like, uh, I guess uh, this would be wider, or it's going to have more depth for the I IBIS system. So it looks like they're taking over um, the uh, XH1. They're kind of merging those two technologies. Yeah, yeah they, they discontinued that one, and it looks like uh, the XT4 might be both, but hopefully it's a little bit smaller than the XH1 is my, my first thought. But yeah, I was looking through all these rumored specs, and um, nothing sticks out that much. We have 6K, 60 frames a second, which is a pretty impressive video feature, and IBIS, and it's heavier. So uh, th there wasn't too much... Uh, it doesn't I mean, sound it's like still the, pretty early. Like that the XT3 has only been out for a year, so usually yeah. they come they refresh those cameras every two or three years. So the, the the rumors are still pretty early. There still could be other things they add to it. But from my perspective as a photographer, those aren't really features I want. I don't want my camera to weigh more or be bigger. I don't need IBIS. Like it's yeah, not I, super exciting. Yeah, it's not a very exciting time for photographers with these new camera releases where I'm just kind of sitting here twiddling my thumbs like, are they going to make something for me? All the features are just video specific. So mm -hmm. it was kind of like that with the X-T3. So if they don't upgrade uh, something photography wise, then how are you going to make these uh, photographers upgrade unless they want to go start YouTube channels? Like, I, I don't know what the appeal to... <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> yeah, how many photographers do yeah. that, right? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Uh, what would you like to see in an X-T4? Like, if you... If you wise more megapixels or I I, I like megapixels. Um, yeah, from a from a car car uh, photography perspective, I think more megapixels would yeah. maybe make you consider one over a Nikon. I don't know. Perhaps I'm I'm kind of ingrained in the Nikon, but there's I don't know my X100 and the Fuji Allure is there, so I yeah, it's kind of I'm 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 gonna be patient and just wait and watch. Wait till one of you guys pick one up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try out Matthews first. <laughs> right. Exactly. There's going to have to be some major changes in that, because yeah. I feel like the X-T3 was kind of a letdown for me. This was a clip from the full photo footage podcast. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you every Sunday for a new podcast. Every Sunday, new podcast. Subscribe now. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks.